Okay, so the message for today is die to self. It's all about Jesus Christ, blood, death, burial, resurrection. I got a couple scriptures here. Um, some of these videos might be my last videos. You know what I'm saying? I, I really truly believe the rapture is coming uh, at the Feast of Trumpets. Okay, I could be wrong. All right, I'm not setting a date. I'm just telling you, I really just feel it. Could be wrong. But it's coming regardless, so not set a date. Matthew 24, 6. Let's go there. King James Version only. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect behold i have told you before wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth behold he is in the secret chambers believe it not for as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west so shall also the coming of the son of man be for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Okay, that's like tribulation, second coming talk, okay? Next, hallelujah, Revelation 13, 16. Extremely important scriptures now because uh, we're living it. We're, we're not in the tribulation yet, but it's about to happen. And the rapture will happen first. Mark my words, you hear me? Revelation 13, 16. <clears throat> okay, 15. And he had power, this is talking about in the tribulation period, the Antichrist, okay? And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. <clears throat> the Pope, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, next, 1 Thessalonians 4.17. I'm not saying he's the Antichrist. I'm saying he's the beast, but that's just my opinion. 1 Thessalonians 4.17. All righty. 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. 
Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words, okay? Some people believe we're in the tribulation right now or whatever. That's not true because it says right here, wherefore, comfort one another with these words, okay? It's going to be normal, all right, when the rapture happens. You're going to be eating and drinking and giving in marriage, okay? It's going to be normal. How can you have comfort if you're in the tribulation about to get your head cut off and uh, you have to deny Christ at that point and burn your Bible or whatever? That's not comfort. There's no comfort there, okay, in the tribulation period. You're either getting your head cut off or you're going to take the mark and go to hell. That's the facts. Romans 3, 25. <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm just going to look in the front because uh, I'm, I'm not taking the time to. I really don't know. Romans... 1637 right here. Oh man, who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Let me see. There we go. That was just a little intermission for you. <laughs> oh man. Why did God give me a sense of humor? You know, 325. Romans 325. Sorry about that. Dude, I just, like, he wrote the Bible on my heart. I just know, like, the scriptures just come to your head because he gives them to you, you know? I don't know, like, exactly where it's at sometimes. Romans, or a lot of the time. Romans 325. No, I'm sorry, 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith, and uncircumcision through faith, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid, yea, we establish the law. Hallelujah. To my God and Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, who loved me enough to die for me with his own blood. Okay? The rapture will happen. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. Okay? The Lord revealed to me personally, after I got saved by grace through faith, that the rapture is coming, okay? And it's coming not 25 years from now. We're talking like the next couple years or less, okay? In my opinion. And, bro, look around right now at the world, bro. Just look at it, okay? I don't, I don't have to say much. What did, what did, what did, he, what did Paul say? You know, uh, the times and seasons I have no need to write unto you, you know perfectly well. We know perfectly well, okay, God's children, by grace through faith, okay, a free gift so no man can boast, just believe in his blood, death, burn, resurrection. We know. Time's up. I told you. I told you. And you know what? It's sad because people think it's a big joke. It's not. All right? This is your eternal destiny. Believe in his blood, death, burn, resurrection. There's no other way, okay? Don't believe in your works or yourself, okay? You didn't do nothing. We're all sinners, Okay, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is God himself that came down in the flesh. Hallelujah.